All right. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Berg is the Word. My name is Mark Burton, and I am your host this morning. I'm going to be breaking down last night's Florida and Miami game and making sense of Andrew Luck's retirement. But first, we're going to start with the Florida-Miami game last night. Florida knocking off Miami 24-20, to much to the joy of everyone who bet the under last night. But I'll wrap up this game really, really quickly, and I can summarize it really in one sentence. If this game was Florida Man, a football form, a football version of the hashtag Florida Man, that would best summarize this game because it was an entertaining game. But in terms of football itself, it was not a very well-played game. 225 yards in penalties between the two schools combined. Florida had four turnovers. Miami had one. I thought Miami quarterback Jarrett Williams actually played a pretty good game, but he got sacked 10 times. The Gators had 10 sacks, so it was really hard to evaluate his performance last night. And if the Miami Hurricanes offensive line keeps up the way it did last night, they're going to eventually have to start Tate Martell at quarterback because you can't have your signal caller, you cannot have your quarterback getting sacked 10 times in a game. I saw somewhere on Twitter where it was like the most sacks in a game for uh, Florida, I want to say since like the 90s. But again, Jarrett Williams sacked 10 times in last night's games. And most of the turnovers last night were unforced. They weren't actually turnovers. They were really just giveaways to the other team and really the call at the end of the game that really really bothered me in terms of okay are these teams disciplined or not was the fourth and 34 on Miami's last drive they were trying to go down and score uh, down four points in the fourth quarter and Florida commits a pass interference penalty a 15 yard penalty and it gives Miami an automatic fourth uh, first down on the first on the fourth down and it was 4th and 34. And, like, this is an NFL blitz, right? Like, NFL blitz used to be 1st and 30, if you remember the old arcade game. A 4th and 34, there's no way that Miami is going to convert that first down unless they get a penalty, like they did. Or if they complete some sort of trick play, like uh, some sort of lateral play or some sort of Hail Mary. So what is the purpose? Know the down and distance. And again, that goes back to being disciplined with football. A hundred, more than 100 yards in penalties for both teams. Combined 225 yards in penalties for both teams. Again, if I could summarize this game in one way, it would be as if Florida man had taken on a football form. Now, 